where you live. On well, the state in 1832, 21 below zero at Lafayette with six inch snowpack. But the thing is, we had a sudden and rapid thaw with heavy rainfall and icing at first, and that resulted in widespread Wabash River flooding in late February. And we had flooding from the northeast U.S. all the way back to the Midwest as all the snow melted and we had all the heavy rain. And interestingly, we had a tornado in southeast Indiana that killed six people in late February 1832. And this is the likely setup. This is actually the surface map from February 1883. Uh, we had the warmer uh, moving northward and this is where all the snow and ice was melting and likely just rain and storms all across the frontal zone. And of course with the warm air and the warm sector here, we had that tornado down here in southeast Indiana back in 1832. Now, from minus 21 to 60s, is that common here? Well, it happened last year. You know, we were down around 20 below around what, February 15th, 14th? And then what, a week later, we had that EF0 tornado at Crawfordsville, and it was 65 there, 60 at Lafayette. This is a clipper coming through tonight. We've got snow showers with it, and you can see that on our precision radar network now. Pretty light snow here along 74. And then over towards Tipton, south of Kokomo, pretty heavy snow south of Indianapolis and other areas of snow here in central Illinois. Now, this is all working east and slightly northeastward, so uh, some accumulating snow, not a lot, but enough to kind of whiten the grass and uh, put a little coating down in places. There's the Arctic air coming in, though. It's 10 at Morocco, still holding on to 18 Thorntown, 15 at the station. Here's where we were this evening. This is where we're headed. We'll be down to 6 by 7 a.m., Wind chill 13 below zero with the snow showers around that wind will crank up rapidly late tonight. Gusts 30 to 40 tomorrow blowing any powder around with low wind chills. Generally an inch or less from any snow showers by tomorrow evening with one to two in the northeast and perhaps a little more snow late Friday. Single digits area wide tonight. Six Lafayette and nine Burlington. But tomorrow, after 8 at 11 a.m., we fall some in the afternoon. Check out the wind chills. 23 below by 7 p.m., and there are the highs in the single digits to low teens. On our Precision Futurecast product, though, it gets colder tomorrow night. Wind chills about 25, pushing 30 below, with overnight lows near 8 below zero area-wide. 9 below Rochester, 7 below Dayton. Minus 10 Kentland. Really quickly here, precision future cast. Notice the snow showers around tonight, 740 tomorrow morning. Snow showers even at noon and through the afternoon hours. Notice the blue on the map. Periodic snow showers around and that wind will blow them around everywhere. So a gusty, very cold day with the snow showers and squalls around. And generally speaking, one inch or lesser, uh, less of snow over most of the area, one to two. In the northeast, seven day forecast. Yeah, boy, it stays cold. Seven on Thursday. Some snow late Friday, Friday night into Saturday, but it's warmer Saturday at 31. Dry for Sunday, Monday, but cold. And 26 with some snow showers on Tuesday. Boy, just a howling wind tomorrow. Snow showers and eight. <laughs> well, 20s will so feel, feel good pretty soon. Okay. Well, such a big game, less yeah. than 40 hours away. Assembly Hall, always a tough place to play, and a lot of that uh, reason is because the Hoosiers are such good shooters.